Gart, um, I think I speak for everybody. Great to see you back in a back in the pitch at Oriel Park for a competitive game. Thanks. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Great moment for myself and family getting back. It's it's been a long time coming for a competitive game, and I think it's someone said the cup final in 2020, November 2020, is the last 90 minutes. So uh, yeah, to get through 90 minutes today was was great. But uh, the result was more important. You know, it was it was a big result for us for the start of the season. You know, it was make or break. After the, I suppose, opening three games, and result was good. Performance, obviously, you know, we know we can improve on it, but that's you know, it's a lot of things to click here. So it's, it's good signs. Yeah, Harps caused a lot of problems, to, to say the least, in the, the first half. They did, but I think we caused ourselves problems. That was the, the main thing. Uh, we've got an abundance of quality, and I suppose just a, not clear heads or decision making. You know, from all of us, at times, a uh, little lacks on the ball and. It was actually ourselves on the ball that was creating chances for them, you know, giving away sloppy and we're open. Um, so yeah, it's stuff we have to, like I said, we've we've abundance of quality in there, and um, it's maybe we just need to get confidence in them. So every player knows the quality they have and good decisions made, and um, you know we'll end up hurting teams more so like that than, than giving up chances like that. Yeah. Stephen Bradley, he's made an incredible start, four goals in three games, but that goal just before half time, it was I'm sure probably turned turned the conversation on his head. Yeah, he's um he's a player that will pull something out of nothing. You can see that already and saw it the first couple of days he was in down at Galway, you know, playing a few minutes and you could just see he's he's got a great touch, uh, great quality, real attacking player. We love attacking wingers here over the last few years and uh, that's another one, you know, and it's the same with the other lads on the wing there. You've got John, Joe, Dicky. Um, we've got great options, but listen, it's a, it's a cracking start for Stevie, and you can see his quality, so we're delighted for him. And then start the second half, Sam, 44 seconds in, and sucker punch for Hobbs. They didn't didn't really come back after the second goal. No, and it's brilliant. Uh, great for Sam for his first goal. He had three very good attempts last week, but you know he's so good on both feet, um, and. Yeah, he showed it there, just the composure. Um, full back picking up the ball high up, you know, keeping them under pressure. And uh, and yeah, great sort of shift of feet and, and finish on his left. He, um, like I said, he's great off both feet, so it's no surprise to us. And it's great for him to get his first goal. Yeah. There he is there. How important was it then to keep a clean sheet when, when the third one within him? She's all delighted to get out of here without conceding one. Yeah, obviously after the first two games, it's something that we're conscious about. Is showing up the defence and clean sheets. You know the the quality we have. We're talking about the players going forward there, and and they can pull something out of nothing. Is that it's imperative that we keep it shut at the back. And I thought we were better in the second half at that. You know we didn't give up as much chances. Um, but saying that, any time Nate had to come, I thought he was excellent tonight. And his kick and his distribution was very good. You know he s- starts that first goal with Stephen Bradley as well. So yeah, it um, first half. You know we're not happy with the chance we're giving away second half. Better give away less chances, but we should have more control of the game. Yeah, five from nine. It's a it's a pretty good start when you consider a lot of new players, a lot of turnover, all the the changes. Five five from nine's not a bad start. I know it's not what is what I wanted, but it's not not the worst start in the world. Yeah, you you know me well there. I'm never <laughs> happy. If you had seven, I'm probably still not happy. But yeah, listen, we've got to take the positives. That's why we've got to be here. Um, we're always realistic. It is what it is. What's you know what's on the pitch there. We address things we can improve, and we take the positives from what we can. And there's so much positives. Um, obviously we've got so much new players there, and they've been excellent. You know they, they've got such quality. Um, there's no ceiling for them, and that's it's exciting, especially for an outfield outfield like me. You know, in amongst them, it's, it's great to see them, and hopefully we can bring it out. Yeah, and just finally, you were named club captain last week. You started your first 90 minutes I'm sure everybody and yourself more than anybody hoping that you know things are things are sort of looking up for you now yeah um, obviously that's a it's a great honour but like I said on the thing you know there's a, a leadership group amongst us that's you know part boiler myself but there's also I said it before in an interview like you've got leaders all over the park Matt Connolly's come in he's so vocal he's got so much experience um, Dave McMillan there the whole time leads the line you know John Mountney some lads they mightn't be as vocal and Dara Lee he breaks along they're just you know they lead by example they're what they do every day is lead us so yeah it's it's really proud uh, moment for me and my family obviously but um, you know there's, it's not just one person as such there's a group of us there good stuff welcome back Art thanks